हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियोस सेकंड मैरिज मल्टीपल मैरिज थर्ड मैरिज फोर्थ मैरिज सो फाइनली आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम हियर विथ एन एग्जांपल फॉर मल्टीपल मैरिजेस ओके सो before you watch this video there is a disclaimer which i would like to give the same placements that you've seen this horoscope in the first glance will be visible in half of the horoscopes that you see okay in this planet but it does not mean that if you have one or two or three or maybe you have all these placements but except that one or two placements are different so in that case it may happen that you do not have multiple marriages okay or it may happen that you have one marriage and you are living happily with one spouse okay but because uh, you guys are very much interested and as kali yuga is degrading and people are becoming more and more animalistic so uh, the number of marriages are also increasing in one person's life okay sometimes it goes up to four or five also i have seen it's very unfortunate but what to do things happen in kaliuga so here is an example chart and uh, i will not be giving the birth information of this person but you can see that the navamsha chart is also there here and we have the lagna chart here all right so let us discuss why this person is having multiple marriages and what are the factors that we could see to judge this okay so as usual if you are new to the channel then uh, please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your married life you can go to the description section down below of the videos where you will find the link to my website to book a consultation with me god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so what are the factors that can lead to multiple marriages yes you are right venus but <clears throat> venus is not the only factor so <clears throat> please understand when we talk of multiple marriages what is happening it is not that the seventh house is breaking always all right it is not like that it it is actually because ultimately a marriage is addition to the family which is the second house okay and so when we say that uh, the marriage is breaking so it essentially means at least in asian countries or at least in india as i know even today um, when the marriage breaks people say the family has broken okay so don't just check the 7th house or 7th lord or venus you should also check the second house or the second lord okay so apart from that you have to also check what is the situation of the trinal lords very 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 important here you also first i would say you have to check the ascendant lord where is the lagna lord placed okay then you check the trinal lords because if the trinal lords are not well placed then if there are small difficulties in life the person wants to move to a new venture okay so the person the trines give us the power to uh, handle difficulties in life okay the 10th house 11th house gives you name fame power position authority but the trines will tell you will you be happy with all the power and position or not or you'll be miserable have you seen people having so much wealth and being miserable but you will also see people who don't have wealth they are also miserable okay so the trines will tell you how much happy the person will be okay and this person has had real challenges with being happy in life so the agenda the motto of this person is okay he gets married and then if he sees uh, this is the chart of a male by the way so if he sees that oh after one year two year if the marriage is not working things are not that great then instead of sticking to it and making the marriage work which is very difficult 
he divorces his wife and he goes ahead with uh, marrying another person okay but this chart is not of a person who uh, who who doesn't want to marry or is not interested in relationships but uh, this is an example of a person who who doesn't have the necessary willpower and strength to carry on with uh, one area or especially married life okay so let us get back to the uh, astrological factors here so as i told you uh, first thing you have to check is the ascendant lord okay so you see his pisces lagna here and the lagna lord is jupiter is placed in the seventh house and jupiter gets digbali in the in the first house in the ascendant so when it is placed in the seventh it is known as dikshunya so which means it's like saying the person is not having a clear goal and a clear focus in life okay so this is the first thing that you should know this makes the person very much confused in life and this makes the person not, not only with pisces or jupiter but with any ascendant if the ascendant lord is in dikshunya the person remains confused sometimes i have seen or not sometimes do, while taking major decisions in life okay now he may be very clear either he wants to eat a south indian dosa or he wants to uh, eat some you know, north indian kulcha and some paneer he may be very clear but when it comes to things like career marriage or children then i have often seen these people are very confused okay and as i said earlier many uh, people will have their lagnesh in dikshunya so you don't have to freak out and get offended if your lagnesh is in dikshunya and you are not like that okay but there are multiple indications in this chart which support these placements okay so now let us analyze them uh, slowly so the lagnesh is the first then we see uh, that this lagnesh jupiter is also not in a very great sign virgo is not a sign which jupiter would like to be in okay he is directly opposite of his own sign so this is not a very happy place for him to be also either then as i said we check the trinal lords so you check the predicament of the trinal lords here you see you see here one is moon the other one is mars okay so moon and mars both are conjunct but it is in the 12th house this is always adding to things like because see 5th house 9th house can show things which you like so uh, when the trinal lords are in dusthanas it can mean that the things which you like are somehow going away from you okay so this is what happens he falls in love with somebody he marries and then later on again uh, you know, things are not that great and he is not able to carry on so these trinal lords are not well placed it is in the 12th house which is the worst of the dusthana houses as we know then we have to give a eye on the trines themselves okay so if you check uh, here this is empty uranus is placed but let's ignore uranus for the time being then you check the ninth house you see there saturn and rahu are placed so i have seen this time and again and again that uh, if malefics are there natural malefics in the ninth or in the fifth then the person uh, can lose things like commitment because marriage is ultimately the ninth house not seventh house it is like your dharma so malefics and that to worst of the malefics like saturn and rahu when they are there it can show that the person is not very interested or he does not want to follow his dharma okay his path whatever his path is either it's brahmacharya celibacy or marriage it can be either of so if it would be a brahmachari a celibate a sanyasi he would be like oh i maybe now i should get married and if he's married he would you know maybe like oh maybe i should divorce now or maybe i should stay with somebody else so this is not pertaining to marriage this is also pertaining to celibacy okay so we already checked the trinal lords and we checked the trines also and 
then yes of course you guessed it right we need to check the seventh house itself and the seventh lord now seventh house is very good because there are two natural benefits this is a great blessing for the seventh house in itself and that that is why therefore whenever he wishes to get married either it is the second third fourth or the tenth time also he doesn't have any problem he gets married very easily okay so benefits in the seven, seventh house natural benefits like jupiter moon mercury venus can make situations very conducive for getting married okay but they necessarily do not ensure a good married life always remember this now then let us see where is the seventh lord the seventh lord will specifically tell us how much commitment the person has towards marriage okay then if you see this seventh lord is in the eighth house which is which is not a very good placement so seventh house and eighth house whenever it is linked can show that the uh, spouse has left you or the spouse is not interested in you and if you see carefully here sun is also the sixth lord he is also conjunct the seventh lord mercury and that too this is again happening in the eighth house and sun is also in debility there so when the sixth lord is in debility i have seen people cannot follow celibacy they cannot remain single okay so this person keeps telling me sometimes that oh sir what will happen to me i cannot stay alone i feel lonely i feel miserable but my married life also doesn't work how many times will i marry what will i do what is going on in my life what will happen so the predicament is uh mercury is the seventh lord is placed in libra but this sixth lord sun is in uh, debility so sixth lord in debility the person cannot follow celibacy okay and that to the eighth house eighth house gives a irresistible cra craving for physical pleasure okay so at times if the seventh lord is associated with the eighth house through the sixth house or sixth lord then uh due to craving for physical pleasures the marriage breaks okay i have seen because sixth house shows the breakage of marriage all right and apart from that as i told you in the beginning the second house is very important so just check what is going on the second lord is again mars is again going in this 12th house okay so these are uh, these are very challenging placements for getting married and now if you check the rest of the places so for example the 11th house the 11th lord 11th lord is very important when it comes to marriage because that gives a sense of friendship to the marriage okay 11th house is friendship so the 11th lord is in the 9th house that is a very good placement of course so there is a chance that if he uh, does spiritual practices his friendship with his partners can increase can improve but unfortunately if you see even that is very difficult because here saturn is placed in scorpio which is a which is not a very great sign for saturn to be in and it is in this rahu ketu axis considering this rahu in the ninth you know it is in maran karak sthana rahu so and the last but not the least of course venus the natural significator of relationships the karaka is in debility now as it is in the 7th house so it makes your life easier when when it comes to getting married okay not marriage getting married the event of wedding happens relatively easier easy easily you find somebody very easily okay that is not a problem but again venus in the 7 does not ensure that you have a good married life or at least a decent or a sustained married life okay so don't think that if you if you don't have venus you have a bad married life there okay and don't think if you have venus in 7 your married life will always be great it's not like that so now one more thing we should check is we should also check the navamsha chart okay in the navamsha chart when it comes to marriage i especially check for uh, planets like uh, jupiter then i check for the lagna lord of the navamsha and also of the lagna chart and then i see the seventh lord 
of the lagna chart and also the seventh lord of the navamsa chart so now here somehow jupiter is the lagnesh for both the navamsa and the lagna charts and mercury is the seventh lord also for both okay and here also if you see mercury is again in the sixth house which is again the house of celibacy and um, jupiter again it's in debility you see and jupiter is also the lagna lord and venus again it is in the eighth house and the eighth house of the navamsa is specifically known for uh, breaking marriages sometimes okay or the eighth lord especially anyways there are multiple other hints because of which uh, things are happening and if you see again there is a malefic in the seventh house of navamsa which is also not very good so the thing is there are multiple reasons why uh, there are uh, multiple marriages so it is not that there is only one thing you know so for example i told you here the trinal lords are also not very well placed so that is why uh, this person inherently does not have uh, that push from inside to continue in any area of life not only marriage okay the person feels like giving up on things very easily there's lack of determination there's lack of self-worth lack of self-confidence so th that is how it happens and even if you've seen the navamsa the trinal lords of lagna chart which is moon and mars you know four and eight here so again this moon is in rahu ketu axis again this mars is again in sixth house so so there are multiple reasons why the person is not having that determination to maintain his married life okay and ultimately of course venus has to be seen and the seventh house and the seventh lord all right so that is it from my side uh, this was a strong video with uh, many negative things but because you guys requested so i have made this video and you can write it down in the comments if you want such so-called negative videos out <laughs> because i don't want to create uh, fear and agony unnecessarily i have uh, almost 980 videos in my channel and i have not created any such video this is the first time i have made this video because after seeing such videos uh, many times people panic so for example somebody is new to astrology okay they have no idea of what navamsa is they don't know anything about trines trinal lords so then they will say oh my god my fifth lord is also in sixth eighth or twelfth it's debilitated my married life is ruined so it is not like that okay so whoever has watched this video if you are new to astrology at least less than six months or one year then please do not take this as a verdict of your own chart okay and if you are not very sure then you can always go to your trusted astrologer and get a reading or take help from some friend who knows astrology in detail okay but don't panic and don't uh, create fear unnecessarily this is just an astrological uh, purview of things because if you do consultations most of the times these questions will come because uh, people with happy married lives will never go to an astrologer which is pretty obvious so most of the horoscopes that you get uh, will be related to marital problems okay at least 70 80 percent of them so when you see these indications you can get an idea of where the problem is or suppose you would have got this chart uh, with moon and mars uh, well placed okay suppose moon mars where in a very good house or in a good sign then you would know that even if there are difficulties the person wants to carry away his married life uh, properly okay inherently the person is not negative when it comes to marriage but in this case it is not like that unfortunately okay the person himself is not determined to carry on his married life and so therefore this person has had multiple marriages and uh, problems in his married life doesn't seem to end by just getting married to another person okay it's it seems as if he's married to the same person again and again but things don't work out and ultimately he has to break the marriage okay so somebody can always justify oh it is destiny destiny is powerful but uh, we can clearly see how the inclination of the person is okay 
So if your trinal lords are not well placed, then please do the worship of the Vishnu avatars containing to those planets. So for example, here Mars is nursing Dev and Moon is Krishna. So I uh, I had suggested this person uh, recently to chant uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya and then Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya so that uh, he gets more determination to carry on with his married life and not just uh, change partners recklessly okay the way he has been doing unfortunately okay thank you so much and your response will be appreciated regarding the fact should these kind of videos be there in my channel or should there be no such video all right thank you very much and wish you all the best